the high performance and uh, computing platform's mission is to foster the tools, the instruments, so that the scientists in the Human Brain Project can in an optimal way execute their tasks, simulation and data analytics. The High Performance Computing and Data Analytics Platform unites four large European supercomputing and data centers. These are the CSCS in Lugano, Switzerland, the Cineca in Italy, this is the Jülich Supercomputing Center where I and my team come from, and the BSC, the Barcelona Supercomputing Center. I lead the computer science department and what we do is, or what we try to do is try to design and influence the way these machines are designed and built and used in the future. Within the Human Brain Project, we as BSC are involved as part of the infrastructure, providing access and support and machines for uh, simulations. But we are also in, involved in developing uh, and providing support for programmers and from developers of the application to better use those machines. In this vertical application that the Human Brain Project constitutes for us, BSC research activities have to do with mostly programming models, performance analysis tools, and uh, in general data and resource management activities. One of the ways of uh, giving a global coherence to this design is, in a sense, try to reproduce one of the important characteristics of the human brain in the way we use the machines. And I would uh, summarize that as supporting interactive supercomputing. In programming models, you'll see Raoul Sirven talking about our OMS developments where we try to provide generic, user-friendly, machine agnostic way of uh, programming a parallel system for very high performance. My name is Raúl Sirven. I'm principal investigator uh, for the Barcelona Supercomputing Center in the Human Brain Project. Among different topics, I'm collaborating with the programming model uh, group that is in charge of developing the OMS programming model. This tool is one of the two programming models that BSC provides in the HPAC platform, which is in the SP7 subproject. And its main objective is to ease the way scientists can uh, get the most of supercomputers by providing easy capabilities for programming them and also uh, getting the most of its computing power. If you see the current trend in computer architecture, you easily see that the chips nowadays have more and more processing units inside them. So this is what we call the cores, and not only the general purpose cores, but also specific cores dedicated for graphical units. This is what we call graphical processing units or GPUs. In these environments, it gets more and more complex for the users to program them, because uh, you add many different things to the architecture and this has to be handled by the users. In this scenario is where uh, OMS is key, because it provides a very easy way to program in these kind of environments, just programming in a sequential way, and then this is automatically transformed into a parallel uh, application that can get the most performance of the supercomputer. In performance analysis tools, uh, you will see Claudia Rosa talking about our uh, extremely powerful and detailed analysis environment, which uh, will allow us to really understand the behavior of, of machines. I'm Claudia Rosas, I'm a BSc researcher involved in the Human Brain Project. I'm working in the BSc performance tools, which mainly maintain and develops the Xtrai and Paraver tools. Xtrai is a tracer that helps us to collect data from different codes running in different platforms. The output of this tracing process can be visualized in Paraver. Paraver is our data browser which helps us to see rapidly in a fast glimpse how your code is behaving in this particular hardware. Among all the benefits of these tools is that they are open source, they are available in most of the HPC centers, and the information and the knowledge from the experts can be easily shared. 
Javier Conejero will present PyComs, uh, which is a programming environment at uh, relatively coarse grain, high grain, high, high level, which is uh, highly interesting and useful for many of the neuroscience analysis activities. My name is Javier Conejero, senior researcher at the Workflows and Distributed Computing Team at BSC. I am involved into the design and development of PyComs, which is a programming model that allows to execute sequential Python applications into distributed environments. The advantages that PyComs provides to the human brain project is that it enables neuroscientists to execute their sequential Python applications into distributed environments, such as clusters, clouds or supercomputers. This tool is available in the HPAC platform for all human brain project developers and users. It provides researchers with an easy to learn, yet very efficient way to parallelize the analysis process when it is too complex to run on a single computer. Marta Garcia will present the dynamic load balancing libraries that we are developing that uh, will help our uh, applications to share resources in a more dynamic way, shifting effort from one application to other as needed, and trying to achieve the maximum efficiency in the use of the machines. I'm Marta Garcia. I work at BSC and I collaborate with the Human Brain Project. I work with DLB. DLB is a tool to improve the performance of HPC applications. HPC applications like the ones that run in the HPAC platform of the Human Brain Project. These kind of tools are very important to improve the efficient use of the computational resources. HPC load imbalance is an issue that needs to be solved globally, not individually by each application. For this reason, it is important to work together with the application developers. By combining OMS and DLB, we can improve the performance of applications even further. My colleague Raúl has already explained the details of the OMS programming model. High-performance computing is the future in all scientific areas, and neuroscience is not an exception. For this reason, DLB is important in HBP. Yolanda Becerra and Julita Corbala will present our work on uh, resource management and data management infrastructures at the coarse grain. El objetivo de nuestra tarea es ayudar a los programadores de aplicaciones neurocientíficas, que son grandes simulaciones que utilizan muchas CPUs para ejecutarse, a utilizar mejor esas CPUs, esos recursos que tienen. Ellos habitualmente esperan a la finalización de su programa para visualizar los resultados, guardando los resultados en ficheros de datos. Nuestro objetivo es ejecutar la simulación a la vez que la visualización. Para eso necesitamos modificar principalmente dos aspectos de la, del programa. Uno es el número de procesadores que utilizan y otro es el ir grabando la información durante la ejecución de forma que no tengamos que esperar hasta el final para poder visualizarla. Así como vosotros os estáis centrando en la gestión de las CPUs, nosotros en nuestra tarea nos centramos en la gestión de datos. Las aplicaciones neurocientíficas de que has comentado antes generan una gran cantidad de información y es necesario ofrecerles un sistema eficiente y escalable. También estamos proponiendo una interfaz muy sencillo para que los programadores de aplicaciones puedan utilizar de manera sencilla este sistema de almacenamiento. El problema que has comentado de los simuladores y las visualizaciones, nosotros ya lo hemos tratado antes y el sistema que proponemos permite que las aplicaciones generen datos y se consulten sin necesidad de esperar a que esas aplicaciones acaben. The future will pose a lot of extreme challenges as to our instruments and as to our software both for the simulation as well as for the data analytics. And it is exactly young researchers like Raoul Silvent and Marta Garcia who can cope with those challenges. The young people are the ones who really invent new things.